Hi, my name is Michael. I'm going to show you how to take a design from Figma and import it into Noodle and make it interactive and also modify it a little bit. All right, to get started, I found this awesome Brauk UI kit by a gentleman named Michael, and I'm going to use that as a starting point. The flow I have in mind is that we're going to import this card and then we're going to click on the text and that will show a pop up something like this that we're going to modify a little bit and then you can change the text and then you can hit save and then the text here will be updated and that's the flow okay let's get started so let's start by creating our components we know we have a card component and we know we have let's place it there we know we have a pop-up component okay let's make it a little bit bigger like so all right so let's start with the card so to export something from Figma, what will happen is that the Noodle plugin will take all of these layers and create corresponding Noodle nodes. So head up, I'm going to head up to Plugins, hit Noodle, hit Export, and everything that's selected will be exported. And here we have the entire layer list that we have here in Figma, but now in Noodle. And here we have it. So now it's rendered as a web app using React instead of Figma. Okay, so let's go back to our app component here and add a card. Okay, let's center it. Maybe add some padding. Okay, let's move on to the pop-up. All right, so let's go to the pop-up over here. Now, this is the one I want. I'm going to hit export selection, add it here, center it on the screen because I want the pop-up to always be centered and add a background color as well. All right. Now let's make this just a little bit bigger. So to do that, we can see that here's the pop-up. Here we have a height. Let's uh, increase that a bit. Okay, let's take the pop-up content, move it down a bit. Okay. Now let's modify this text just slightly. So do you want to delete? This is not about deletion. We want to change our text field. So uh, type some text. I don't want this description anymore. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add a text input. And when we imported all of these layers from Figma, all the corresponding text styles were also imported. So now on the text input node, I can click on text style and can see all the textiles that were important from Figma. So let's use this one. I'm gonna add some padding or rather margins like so. Uh, make it maybe as wide as the pop-up. Yeah, looking good. Um, a background color. A little bit lighter and some padding as well. Okay, that's looking decent. Yep, and now we can type. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to command click on delete here and change this as well to save. Oh, it's not centered. Let's do that. Okay, so save, cancel, and we can modify it in text. Okay, that's good. Now let's make the um, uh, interaction where you can click on the text and then open the pop-up. So the pop-up is almost done but we need to open it as well and close it. So let's go over to the card here. So I'm going to command click on the text. I'm going to create a no node called show pop-up. And when the text is clicked, we want to create the pop-up. So let's pick the component that we created that is conveniently named pop-up. All right. So now we can show the pop-up. That's good. Now we want some text to come back from the pop-up. So Let's go over here to the to the text input. And let's create the corresponding node that corresponds to the we had show pop up in the card and here we want close pop up to actually close it again. So when you click on a save, we want to close the pop up. So I could actually just command click here. See that there's the button. So if you click on that, we want to close. Okay. Let's do the same thing for this one. So if you click on that one, we also want to close. Okay. But now we want some data to be returned from this pop-up. So here we can add 
um, data that we want to send back to the component that was that was showing this pop-up. So we have one result, which is the, the new text. Or maybe the text input. Or whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to connect the text input, the result, what the user has entered, into the text input target or the text input port that we just created. All right, let's see if this works. So let's open this up, click the text, and there we have uh, the pop-up. Okay, that's looking good. We can type something. Yes, you can see that data is flowing through. And let's go back here as well to the text and connect the uh, result of the show pop-up. So command click, here's the text, and here's the result, and let's connect it to text. Hey, from my noodle app and hit save and there we go we updated the text oh and now i click the text again and uh, one more time save okay cool so just to recap we took two components here from our figma file the first one uh, we used unmodified the second one we just used as a starting point and modified it a bit and then we created a flow where you click on the text to show the pop-up. And the pop-up in turn, it sends back whatever data was typed in this text input. And when that comes back, that data is then fed into back into the text node, which will update the text and make it dynamic. So that's how we make a quick flow using Figma and Noodle.